I read the book twice. <laughs> I made Thank notes. Of, I made notes of every chapter. Home is about Abu Bakr's experiences growing up uh, in the civil war in Syria, and I was wondering, Abu Bakr, like, what did do you want to share? Why did you want to share your story, and what's why is it so important to you? So when I first came here to Canada, I just realized there's not a lot of people know about Syria and Iraq. And I just got these questions like, do you guys have schools back in Syria? Do you guys have chairs? And do you guys live like us? So that's what's really make me wanting, wanted to share my story. The second most important theme of all this is it's a love story between a family and, and a father and, and, and his son. And I feel that's really a huge part of the book and something that really drew me in personally. I was so inspired myself, as you right. said, about that relationship between Bakar and his father and how um, his father really held them together. Mm -hmm. And, you know, to say focus on the light and focus on love as opposed to hatred, like for me that really touched me so much that that's what I wanted to really allow to shine through right. and not focus on the melodrama of living through right. a civil war because his life is not defined by that. His life is one of family and love and friendship and right. cousins and soccer and that's what was really yeah, important. Yeah, it's like a big clan. It's like it yes. really feels like it's you guys are a crew and you're all stick together through thick and thin. And mm -hmm. it's really it was really cool to, to read that and to be a part of it. I guess my question is you, you did survive. I mean, even though we don't want to make the whole book about the war and, and how much difficulties and trouble you had to go through, but you did survive a great deal of violence over there in Syria. And But you still have, in the book, you can tell you still have a lot of love for that place. And there's even a, a part where you go, like, at the end, I think you say, like, you still have a hope to one day be able to come back. You will know the value of the place that you are living in, living in after you, you leave it, after you go, you go out of it. That's how I notice the value of Iraq and the value of Syria. I missed a lot of simple stuff that we used to have and we didn't, we didn't even realize we have it. And some people, we don't have it here. So that's how I, I, I really loved it more and more. That's what kept me reading about Syria and Iraq, kept me looking forward for what's happening there and for the news. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I mean, in the book, my favorite part, my favorite pas passages was really when you, I think when your two friends tell you like, don't forget about us and make sure you tell her story. And to me, that was like one of the, it sort of like, I, I guess this is the reason why this book exists, is I mean, they told you that and you had that mission. It sort of became a mission for you. So how difficult was it to, because in the book, people will find out that you leave some cousins behind and some friends and you haven't been, able, and you leave and you don't know if you'll ever see them again. So how difficult was that moment for you? And do you still have contact with people there? And do you still think about that moment where you had to go and start a new life and leave them behind? Uh, it was really difficult, like, for me and for my cousins. Uh, I still talk to them. I'm really happy. I I miss talking to people. I don't know about some of them, but most of them I talk to them. I st we still contact. It, it's really hard. Like, I remember them every while. You will, al it will, they will always stick with you, basically. Right. Yeah, they're part of your life forever, right? Exactly. What do you guys both hope that readers will take away from this book? I hope they will take the love that we had between the families and the friends. I hope they will know that we are very similar to each other. There's not much difference between between us as a humans. Yeah, I think it was really important to both Bakar and I that um, this was a story of love and not really of war. The war is really important because mm. we wanted people to learn about why are there refugees? Why are there Syrian refugees? Um, but when we look at what we hope it could do for other newcomers who aren't just Syrian refugees, but refugees from other places, or right. even just people who choose to immigrate, um, to be an outsider in any situation is mm -hmm. really difficult. And um, we just hope that we can bring some understanding and, as you said before, compassion right. to the newcomer's plight. Just to kind of add to what you said about the current context of the world where you're looking at, uh, you know, Donald Trump talking about walls and <laughs> keeping people out and you really stoking fear and, and uh, using people's worst instincts, you yeah. know, to get votes. And I think that it's easy to get lost in the headlines and the newspaper and you see that and you're just, okay, but 
there's real human lives that are affected by what he's doing and the whole kind of misunderstanding about immigration and how uh, it's not something that people do just because they want to come here and take advantage of a country or whatever. It's just, when you read the story, it's incredible to see that like this was a life and death sort of situation. And when you get here, it's not that easy. And it's not just every, every problem is solved. Yeah. And I wonder, does, have your feelings evolved or changed towards your new home in Canada as you been there what for four years now we mostly settled down so right. that was that's the place where we settled down where we like finally settled down me and all my sisters i can see them now some of them are working some of them most of them are studying so that's the feeling that we got settled down and finally just lived our life yeah, that's amazing awesome yeah.